I gotta tell you. Oh, look at that one. Wow. So now their whole world of addiction. Ho, 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 ho! Can we get that on camera? Wow. Wow. This is awesome. Not sure, but I think that's one. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. So today, I'm alone. I got no camera crew, it's just me, myself, and Dan Hurd. Well, hello everyone. So Dan and I just came. It's a loud train. Big train. <laughs> yeah, it's a choo-choo truck. So Dan and I just came back from over this little hill here and Dan was showing me a bunch of agates. It was kind of by accident. He was kind of showing me an area where you could find gold, but I found an agate and then we spent like 20 minutes looking for agates. But Dan thinks over that hill over there, there could be more, but we've never actually checked it out. So today, that's our job, to go on top of the hill and see if we can find more agates. Woohoo, let's go! Oh, I remember this thing. Last time you were on here, you were strapped to the front. Turns out there's no road across. So we just gotta park this thing for now. So right away I found our first piece of agate, also known as red skin agate. <laughs> Turns out there's actually a road that leads right in here. No! But that's the point of exploring, isn't it? I was in gymnastics, so this is easy. Oh, I didn't fall. <laughs> Surprise. I think we should go home now, I found my piece. So the reason we're finding agates down on the beach, above us is what's known as the dry notch slide. Yay! It's a mudslide that moves very slowly, but it brings down material from the hills that is loaded in agate material. I'm thinking since we found it on the beach below us, there's a good chance we can find it on the hills above us. You can see a bit of agate with calcite in it, a quartz nodule here. So we've got the right indicators. Let's hope we find the agates themselves. <laughs> there you go, Molly. Wow. It's banded. Banded, yeah. It's red skin too, although most of the red skin is uh, worn off. Good find. This is what the red skin agate looks like in its host rock. Dark rock and then the red skin, these little pieces will actually pop out into round balls. That's what we're looking for. Here's another piece of red skin agate. You can see the agate right there. So I was never really into gem hunting, crystal hunting, anything like that until I visited Dan's Ocean Picture Stone claim. If you want to see the video, it's in the description below. I gotta tell you, it's another whole world of addiction. I love gold prospecting, and now finally, I can expand that to gems. Don't fall from there, Polly! <laughs> I fall at the bottom, but I don't fall up top. Here's another example of a red skin in its host rock. Got a nice red skin agate here, but there's one. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful. In the bucket they go. Any of the big round agates, I'd assume would already roll down the hill, but not if they're still stuck in the wall here. Look at this guy. A little banded piece of agate in the host rock. I can't pull that one out. Beautiful view here though. Too bad we didn't bring the drone, hey? Yeah. I'm using your footsteps to make sure I don't go tumbling, but I'm gonna get ahead of you. <laughs> you want to find a good one. Yeah. I just found a potential. Let's smash it open. Oh, now we're talking. We got in host here, Holly. Dang it. There's a, oh, this one's loose. Forget about tools. Nice one right under there. The tools are my fingers. Oh, you got some tools. Like most of the rock is jagged and sharp, but what you're looking for is the smooth, rounded surfaces. That means, agate. Ah! A nice, rounded, beautiful agate. Once that's cut, you get to see what's inside. I just found two beauties, check this out. One right there, and one right here. Oh, I need a tool for that. Your tool. Oh, it's a big one, hey? Oh, a really nice one. Wow. Wow. Nice. That is so cool. I'm gonna eat that for lunch tomorrow. Dan spotted another one right here. Shut up, you trucks. There you go, nice find. Cool. Absolutely loving this. Eight weeks ago, I was laying on a bed in the hospital with my chest open with open heart surgery. Hey, Polly, I'm alive. Share this with anyone you want. Bye. Here I am, eight weeks later, out in the wilderness, enjoying myself. This is awesome. There's got to be an agate right there somewhere. I'm sitting in a field of agates over here. I've got one that's banded, that's probably opal banded. I've got a beautiful little sliver. 
A beautiful little sliver with banding inside it. And then it looks like I found a spot down here where someone else was hunting opal and piled up a whole bunch for us, even including a little geode. So I did a little bit of pioneering, climbed up to the top of this hill here, and I found what I think is gonna be the biggest piece of the day. I mean, I've been saying that all day so far, but I'm pretty sure it is. Found all of these guys on my way. So let's go up. Yeah, it's around that rock and then up. So it's my responsibility to keep Dan safe today. Dana, you're gonna kill me if he hurts himself. So you better listen to me. I'll be a while. I'm just collecting you as I go. So I left a marker up there. It's my sick merchandise. This is actually really slippery. It's a long way down. Madman going up here. I'm a madman, yep. <sighs> Whoa. That's a nice looking one. So Dan is gonna stay down there for now. It's way too slippery to risk any injury today. Hopefully the camera stays there and hopefully I stay here. Come on, stupid rock. Ah, oh, I broke, I broke it in half. <laughs> so here's what it could have been. It wasn't as pretty as I thought it would be on the inside, but it was definitely worth trying. There's one right there. And there's a, looks like a geode over there in the distance. And my gimbal died, so it might be a little bit more shaky. Oop. A little more shaky than I'd like. They're everywhere here. Oh, okay, that one broke. What about this one? Oh, look at that one. Wow. There's like crystals on the inside. That must mean this one is the same. I don't have any tools with me. You're a tool. Molly. Oh, Dan's calling me. Yeah. Molly. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think that's one. I'm almost at the top of this hill and Dan says he thinks he found the biggest one of the day. I don't know if that's one or not. It's red skin for sure, red skin all the way around. And where the red skin is worn through, I see pieces of white. So that could be an agate. I'm not gonna risk breaking that open to see what's inside. I'll take that to the shop and cut it to see what's inside. Might be nothing, it might be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so often when we make these videos, we get that perfect opportunity for a shot and we don't have the camera running. Here's our first full piece of red skin agate. That was great that Polly had the camera on me right when that happened. So we use the term agates fairly uh, liberally. What this actually is, is a quartz crystal nodule. There's a little bit of agate on the edge, but most of this is just quartz crystals that are growing into a pocket. We still call them agates, even though technically they're not agates. This is awesome. Not very large, but it's, it's cute. So after about an hour of digging, picking up shiny things and finding more agates, we decided it's time to go. So both Dan and I are calling it a day today. We both did pretty good. Here's my pan of stuff. I got some round pieces. I'm gonna get Dan to cut, but I'll show you that at the blue room in a few seconds. I got some crystal nodules and some random pieces of agate. Now here's Dan's bag of material. Yes, he's been doing this a long time. He has a better eye for it. And it's Dan Hurd. What do you expect? <laughs> okay, let's go back to the house and have a closer look. All right, so there isn't a whole lot I can tell you about these rocks as that's something I'm still trying to learn. But what I can tell you is that we found a lot. These are beautiful. I will be hunting for more and it makes this pioneer room look a little more shiny. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up to let me know that you want to see more of these videos or check me out on social media for anything else behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next one, black screen with logo. It's a choo-choo truck. <laughs>